good morning class good morning ma'am okay so in our surroundings we are uh, surrounded by so many similar things right yes. suppose uh, the two notebooks are almost similar of the same company or the two biscuits in the same packet are all similar yes. right so when i'm talking about similar i mean their shape and size is almost similar for example so if i superimpose these two notebooks so what happens the one one of them covers the other completely and same is with the other you can't see the this notebook through this are you able to see no, no. okay so this we say in mathematics we say that these two objects are congruent what they are congruent, congruent. so today we will learn about congruency of some geometrical figures right so what is the simplest geometrical figure we know simplest geometrical figure it is a line segment we start from a point we then extend it to line segments so suppose i have a line line segment what is it line segment ab ab okay now suppose i take another line segment and i try to see superimpose it on the first one okay so this is lm right now i'm trying to superimpose it on the first segment am i able to do this no can you tell me the reason why because they are not equal because they are not equal this one seems to be longer okay it has more length than this similarly if i take the another line segments which is even smaller i cannot superimpose it okay so now suppose i take a line segment that is an equal length are you able to see the first line segment through it no ma'am no so these are almost similar they are in this they are of the same length so we say that they are congruent what they are congruent so all the line segments that have same length are congruent okay and if they are congruent they both have the same length vice versa all right so now let's talk about congruency of angles suppose i take this angle okay this angle is 40 degree right okay now i try to superimpose this angle with this one this angle is x y z now i try to superimpose this angle with lmn i join the horizontal line am i able to do so no ma'am do they superimpose no this is 90 degree and this is 40 degree so they do not superimpose now i take some other angle it is 70 degree okay this angle is 70 degree angle pqr is 70 degree so i try to superimpose on this am i able to do so no ma'am why it was yes yes be clear about this the length of the arm doesn't matter why because it is a ray this arrow marks that it is a ray so it can be extended you know what is ray right we studied in 6th uh, class so this ray can be extended to this length so it doesn't matter all right so the angles should be congruent this angle is same as the other angle that's why so what we say if two angles are congruent they should have the same measure they should have the same measure and if they have the same measure they are congruent so what is the condition of congruency of an angle well they should measure equal and what is the condition of the congruency for a line segment they should be equal in length they should be equal in length, length. so let's talk about the congruency of triangles Tri triangle is the simplest polygon so suppose i take this triangle this triangle is mno all right so if i try to superimpose this with another triangle do they no this triangle seems to be bigger okay so i take another triangle abc all right and i try to superimpose another triangle pqr on it this triangle pqr okay i try to superimpose am i able to do so no they do not superimpose so triangle abc does not superimpose on the triangle pqr so are they congruent no 
no but now if i turn this triangle so what is what it becomes it becomes triangle a c b mm. now if i try to superimpose they do they are superimposing on each other yeah. so they become congruent if you pay attention uh, the vertex a superimposes with vertex b, b. q with c. c and r with b. b so sometimes it is not necessary that the triangles will be given like this only and then only you can see if they are congruent or not you can turn you can bend you can you can modify this triangle and make it superimpose on the other all right so when i say these two triangles are congruent here acb is congruent to pqr right so a coincides with p c coincides with q b coincides with r yeah. similarly ab ab coincides with pr right ab coincides with pr cb coincides with QR. QR and AC coincides with PQ. PQ. Exactly. So now we will see how we represent this congruency, the idea of this congruency mathematically in symbolic form. So the symbol of congruency is equal to an, a curve over there. Okay, so this is how we represent the congruency symbol. So when I say that two line segments are congruent or they are equal, I write it as suppose AB line segment is equal to CD. What I actually mean is that AB is congruent to line segment CD. Okay. Similarly, if I say that two angles are equal, what I mean is they are congruent because they have same measures. So when I say that two angles are congruent, what I mean is they are equal in measure. So if I write angle A is equal to angle B, it can also be written as angle A is congruent to angle B. So angle A B, C is congruent to triangle P, Q, R. It means angle A is equal to angle P, angle B is equal to angle Q and angle C is equal to angle R. Okay. So now if I say Triangle ABC is congruent to triangle FED. Then angle A is equal to angle F. Good. Angle B is equal to angle e. e. And angle C is equal to angle D. And AB is congruent to line segment AB is congruent to AB is a line segment. I am talking about a line segment. It is equal to which line segment? FE. FE. Very nice. And angle and line segment BC is equal to which line segment? Vishal. And lastly, angle, uh, line segment AC is equal to FD. So this is how if a triangle is written it means the corresponding sides of the triangles are equal. Okay. So that was for the today's class. So uh, today we learnt about congruency of uh, congruency as a general idea, congruency of line segments, congruency of angles and congruency of triangles. We have just seen how the congruency of triangle works for the corresponding sides. In next class, we will learn about the criterias.